Halicon on and on from Orbital from the Hackers soundtrack. And I'm Zios Pantera, the host of Inner Fetish. And this is an IM that I should have made a review of about a year ago. Maybe two. Because for some reason, Ico and I think every other retailer, I'll link it to every retailer I could find. Uh, I had like four Ico gems. These are the Ico OH1S. Somewhere on it, it says OH1S. Somewhere in small letters. Yeah, this is the OH1S gems from Ico. And I had like four sets. And it got to the point where I'm like, I'm just going to put these in the yard sale. So I think I sold all of them but one. The one that I had opened and on the burner rig and read it a review and it's never reviewed it. So here we are. It's time to, to end an era of there being Ico OH10Ss to uh, review. And they're very nice. Like, I usually try to find the word for an IM. I go through different amps and I go for a couple different tips. So we got to talk about tips. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, these are nice. They're not super cheap. They're on sale right now, at least because it's 11.11 sale as I'm recording this. These are $135 single dynamic, single balanced armature. So a nice little, little quaint hybrid, a little quiet hybrid. The kind of hybrid you just want to sit down and relax to. Smooth, creamy, just unoffensive. Nice. Not huge titties. Not that ass one. Quit just, just nice. That's why they sold. Every yard sale I put them in, every review, they sold. It's like other people knew they weren't going to get ripped off from these. Then they do some like really pinpointing imagey stuff. Because now I've got Bakamata Guitari, which copyright strikes. Um, and it's just string instruments, and it's really like aggressive strings, but it's still nice. It's still smooth and creamy and inoffensive, and nothing hurts, and there's no treble spikes. The only problem I have with these uh, is the magic ones exist. Ugh. So they're actually putting me to sleep, but not in a bad way, not in like, oh, these are so boring. Trust me, there are boring IEMs that I don't want to listen to. I kind of want to leave these in and just take a fucking nap. You know exactly if you're the person that's interested in this I am. The rest of you have left, and the other ones who have stayed are like, you know what, Zios? Keep talking. Tell me how soft my bed is. Do I have a fuzzy blanket that I could turn on and then leave the, like, the room heater on and then play the sound of rain? I, I have, I pay an extra 80 cents a month because my Alexa, none of these are set to Alexa, so I'm in the bathroom, um, ask it to play Distant Thunder. And it's a skill that plays the sound of not just rain, but distant thunder. And if you pay 80 cents a month, you get the high quality 10 hour looping version of that. This makes, this reminds me of that. This is the IM that I want to hear just rain and then an occasional thunder crash. Cause it would just be the smoothest thunder crash you've ever fucking heard. It would be so nice. Not a bass monster, although I really haven't Taste, take my bass playlist out. Nah. They make low end. They don't live low end. Yeah, I'm turning up way louder than they should be. And it's, it's, it's just enough that it's like, all right, they're not lacking in low end, but they're not designed for it. Um, biggest issue you're going to have MMCX connector that come with a little fucking poppy tool, which, you know, you're going to keep around you all the fucking time. It's already turned off half the audience. Just go, look, oh, look at that. It's like a, it's like a nail clipper for your fucking MMCX connector. This way you don't jank it sideways, which breaks things. The actual IEM itself is fucking pretty, too. We've got a blue anodized aluminum here, and then it goes around through a, a ripple, a complete circular layer that is uh, blue PVC that houses the driver. And then there's another hammered metal layer on the outside. It's very pretty. It's very fucking pretty. And then for some reason, I'm going to swap tips at this point now anyway. For some reason, and I don't know why, because, you know, fucking, the, but why the fuck would any, any, any IM maker, any IM maker, why would you make an oblong port? Like it's football shaped or sp no, football, not soccer. Like football. Because it looks like a foot. It's a foot long. I don't know. It was fucking football. And then you get these fucking tips out. 
which by the way, this tip display mounted into the box of glue. I would usually have it out to show you the tips, but it's not, so I can't. Uh, we are, this is R, it actually says R in the very, it's like a 0.5 font. So you get these like specifically weird ass tips, which we're gonna try right now. I didn't try them before the camera. I wanted you to, I wanted you to experience this with me. Um, I usually go with a smaller one. Actually, is that the largest one? Hold on. Swap these. Yeah, give me R. Give me the L. I usually do slightly smaller on my left. But I, this isn't even going to go in my ear. What is that? That's a, it's a racist hat is what it is. I guess people who really don't want things in there. It's hard to hold them now. There's like this massive tiddly fuck on it. Wait, did I reverse these? I don't even know what's going on at this point. How does putting these tips on has actually confused my mind? Oh, it just feels weird. All right, I can get the left one to sit, but the right one's just being like, no. I'm gonna hold up my fingers, and I still can't get it to like seal. There's no seal. It doesn't go in. It's like it's like. It's like if you have a phobia of putting things in your ear, this is to prevent that. Let's put this back in the right. It does come with foam balls, which I like. Very stubby foam balls. Which are round holes, by the way, in case you're wondering, because... <laughs> Why? Why? Why are there ovoid, ovoid goddamn holes for this? I feel like you can make this and make it round. Maybe because you, so you don't fucking have it the wrong way? That's the only reason you do it. So someone... Oh my god, it removed the, the actual filter. These have replaceable filters, by the way. Not not that it'll change the tuning, just I think they give you just a replacement set of filters. Nope, those are different. Are those different? Mm, no, okay, I'm hallucinating. <sighs> I don't want to fuck up, mess up filters. So yeah, we just have a really weirdly smooth, and that, that came out, that's weirdly easy to just yank the fuck out of there. I don't think it's doing any tuning because it's just a grid pattern. It's not like a restricted grid pattern. But I guess you can just pull these out if you feel like it. This one's much harder to do. That one's that one's in there. That one's just coming out. But let's try one more pair of tips. Oh, we'll do Dakoni foams. Just see if I can get some of that bass to actually kick my ass. I kind of want bass at some point to kick my ass. And if it doesn't, I tip it up to try that. Ooh, even with just one, I'm feeling a little bit. My mama said that I'm not living right. Actually, that's the Zaccone tips are giving a much. There you go. Said that I'm not living right. You know what? Recommending Zaccone foams. If you have Ico OH1S gems. Let me see it wait. The real test. Hey, they stayed on. That one's disgusting. I clean my ears more. Um, I was worried that it was going to pull off, but I think because it's so ovoid, it's like jamming itself into the side. I like these IMs. These are an eight. When I do the rating system in the description, I, I usually I don't like doing a number just to give like something a number. But I'm gonna give these an eight. Because they're enjoyable to listen to. Despite lo lacking bass, you put these on it. They don't change the sound that much. And they're pretty, and they're small. MMCX, uh, you can miss me with that shit. I want to point out something else about the wire. Also, you got a, a you got a pin. You got a pin. You got extra fucking things. You, you have the permanently mounted things in this beautiful fucking box with the flap up thing. And this was inside this, which says gems, hybrid, uh, in-ear monitor, right? OCC plated. Oh, it's wonderful. There it says OH1S. You know what that was? That was inside of the sleeve with the waifu on it. With a white wire coming out of a dongle. It's not even this fucking IM because it's white wire. I guess it could be this, this IM. I'm not going to argue with them. So it, it's got a box that was around the box. Yeah, I'll, I'll prove it to you by putting it all back together the way it fucking was. What? And also it came with this nice little thing. Look, it was a render of the, the shells, the uh, 
earplug size and it shows you how it's all put together. It's nice. It's got this nice like Da Vinci sort of style on it. Oh, also this is this is customer service card that looks like a vase. It's also a fox. I was gonna go with a fox girl because of this, but I decided not to. I, I don't know what that represents. And the bag is the I think there's been worse bags, but this is like a very it's a very plasticky feeling I guess suede, fake suede, fake leather. Like it's stitched around the outside, but I'm not sure if it's real and it's stamped and it's got the thing you're supposed to tie it around, I guess to hold it, but it has no structure or depth. So whatever you put in this is just gonna get crushed. No protect, in fact, this is gonna go in and crush it automatically from just existing. So I don't, Ico has been fucking this up since day one. I want to say I like the wire. It, it's a MMCX on top, eh. Two wire twist to single wire is fine. It's almost cool because they have, if this was, they could have fixed this so easy. It's gray wire twisted with red wire twisted with blue wire. So it's a gray, red, it's a gray, red, and blue, but it doesn't indicate left and right because it's gray, red, and blue on all of it. But it's kind of nice. I kind of like the patterning in it. It's new and unique. Here's your fucking 3.5 millimeter, says Ico. So yeah, it's a fine, it's a fine example of an IEM that, at this price point, for what it does, for who it is, for where it wants to be, for the niceness, the nice, the niceness it wants to deliver. I give it a full, I give it a full eight out of ten. It is doing its job. I don't understand the tips it comes with. I don't understand MMCX. But there's there's other IMs out there that'll do deliver more performance. The word is performance. If you're performance oriented, these are not for you. You're performance oriented, you get something else. Plenty of hundred and thirty dollar IMs out there. <coughs> Z12. Um, although Z12 might be too much trouble for a lot of people. These are smoother, chiller than the Z12s. If you want to be more chill, you get an ICO. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't want to keep going. This review will be 45 minutes long. Wallpaper in the Horde. Uh, Patreon subscribes to support this channel. Thank you for all. Uh, tons of reviews of IEMs. Not at this moment. At this moment, I'm out of reviews in the public channel, so I need to make some because I actually didn't put out one today because I suck or yesterday. I, I missed a whole cycle. Um, but there are going to be tons of IEM reviews just waiting behind a paywall for you to see. And there'll be some of those will be public and some of them won't be. In fact, I might make the IEM ones public. So you have to go there. You have to go watch them on Patreon and Subscribestar if you want to access them. You can still see them on YouTube, but they'll be out much later. So yeah, um, links to these. Links to these lovely little, little things. They're just lovely. They're so lovely and nice. It's just you got to get over the fact that it's fucking MCX wire. I cannot help you. I can't help you with that situation. Have we covered all the shit it comes with? The envelope, the stupid thing, the nine boxes interchange, perfect. I'm Zios Pantera, the host of Inner Fetish, and we're gonna we're gonna take this moment to be super chill, and we're gonna move on from there. <laughs>